Look at that. Can you see that? Those are the little things that people just don't care about. You know, that are building certain bikes. It's the little details that matter to me. Look at that girl. She is absolutely beautiful. Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Big John with Jake Custom Bill. So it's Friday afternoon. I got a call from my powder coater uh, yesterday that my uh, small parts, all the brackets for uh, both bikes are ready. The brackets for the bags. I got them all. We wrapped them up right now. So I don't know if you guys can see the sign. I'm dealing with uh, Sean now. I used to deal with his dad, Dave, from uh, Reliable Powder Coaters. I've been working with his dad now for, man, about 30 years. And so uh, here, here's some of the parts. Uh, that's I'll show you guys how meticulous I am. This goes inside the fender, right? It goes inside the fender and uh, actually holds the wire, the wiring that's coming from the tail light and uh, goes underneath the fender. And then the, this is where the, uh, the bolts to the seat go on the, uh, on the front of the fender. And uh, so he did a great job, man, on some of these things. I, let me just show you really quick how, how nice their work is. These are the one, the saddlebag, the front saddlebag holders. I don't know if you guys can see how nice they did these, but this is why I like powder coating because man, it's just worth it. It gets in there and it's just, uh, it's great, great work. Man. It's worth the money. It's not cheap, you know, but it's, uh, it's worth the money. So, uh, yeah, man, I just picked these up. I look forward to putting out another video. I actually figured out exactly what it is. It's the bearings. You're supposed to put the, the, uh, rotor side bearing in first so that it seats all the way. And then you do the opposite side. I believe that's what I did, but I don't believe that the bearing, well, I know for a fact now without taking the wheel off again, that the bearing is actually not tucked in all the way. So it needs to get shifted along with the sleeve inside and the, the bearing that's on the opposite side on the uh, belt, the belt gear. It needs to all get shifted that direction so that the wheel could actually come further to the right where the rotor's at, where the caliper's at. The rotor can actually meet the caliper perfectly. So, um, so that's what I gotta do. I just uh, gotta go home and take care of that. So I gotta run to Harley in Oakland. I'm ho I gotta pick up some, uh, all the rings cause I don't know what I did with the rings. The brass washers is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I did with the brass washers. I think I, uh, I misplaced them cause I bought them maybe two months ago. And that's the problem. I uh, got a specific box now, bin, I should say. And that's where I'm actually putting everything now. Everything is getting bagged, tagged, labeled, everything. So that all the used stuff that comes off. So when I replace it, I can have it. And when I get it new, it's going to go in a new box. So that way it'll be ready for that specific bike. And uh, there won't be any confusion on that. That's my part, man. I got a lot going on right now. But other than that, man, you guys uh, have a great weekend. Wow, that tree looks like I got funny hair to you, huh? <laughs> You guys have a great weekend and uh, God bless you guys. Take care, ride safe. Always remember to ride safe. Um, take care and God bless. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's the next day. I picked up all the powder coating and then I went to uh, Harley Oakland yesterday and uh, hung out with those guys for a little while. I picked up all the washers because I couldn't find the ones I ordered. So, or the ones I had previously bought. I got 10 of these things, right? These things are $2.99 each. So it came up to like 30, almost 34, 35 bucks for 10 rings. Cause that's what I needed. So uh, this is to get all the brake stuff connected. And then I picked up the powder coating and man, they did a really good job. So these are the brackets that I was talking about that actually hold the, uh, the bag, you know, the bags on the inner side. These are the brackets that hold them. And then these guys here, go in like so, so that you can actually lock. This is one of the locks, the front lock for the bags. So I'm gonna put these guys together today. This is actually the part that actually holds the wiring down in the front, the inner part of the fender where the seat actually mounts. You can mount your seat to these guys, put nice chrome uh, bolts on there. That came out pretty good. And then I did, uh, so I did two sets. I did two sets of these uh, for, Sapphire because Sapphire these were really like faded they were they were very dull black and then they had like white patch marks on there so I couldn't let that bike go like that and then these guys are the the floor brackets the floorboard brackets 
for the front. And man, they did a, an amazing job on these guys. So I'm gonna get all this stuff uh, put on today. And then I'm uh, planning on taking that wheel off too. Here's another one. So there was two sets of those. And uh, man, they sure give you a lot of uh, paper. Good to wrap stuff up with though. And then these are some of the thicker ones. Nope, oh, another front one, another front one. And then here, like, they did a really, really, really good job on them, on these guys, man. These came out really, really, really good. So I'm very happy with that. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys all this stuff. Did a great job on this one. They look great, man. They look amazing. I got two sets off of two different bikes, 07 and 09, and they're both different. The 07s are different. The fronts are the same, but the rears are different. So this is from the 07. This is on the uh, the left side, clutch side. This one goes in the back. And of course, this one goes on the front and they sit just like that. And uh, put the floorboards back on. So this is to the 07. I'm gonna set those aside because I've been wanting to ride that bike. I haven't ridden it. I haven't ridden it since, uh, since um, August. And I got to get a ride on that thing. Here's another one of these guys. Here's another one. I think this one. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Am I missing something here? Nope. So I'm supposed to have four of these. Four of these, which I have. One of these and four of these. So we're all good. So I know for a fact that this one goes to the left side. And then I figure out which one. I think this one goes to the real I don't know, but I'll figure it out, guys. I'll figure it out, and we'll get it. We'll get it all together. I'm gonna put these guys aside because I'm actually going to uh, prep these guys here. So I got these on, guys. Got those both on. So they actually bolt on each side like that, and then the pin goes in here and twists and locks on that little tab right there. So those look so much better. I'm gonna get these other ones done, and then uh. I'm gonna put them on. Okay guys, got these done too. Go slap these on. So hey guys, here's a Sapphire, this beautiful girl. And here's where the, uh, the brackets go. You see how these guys are here? They're for the rear bracket. It goes like that. And so, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put these back on and then get the bags back on. I was wiping the bike down right now. Um, because I uh, want to take this girl for a ride. Uh, maybe I'll get uh, some content today on uh, taking this girl out. I got to charge my helmet, make sure my helmet's all charged up, and uh, go from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe all this down because I want to get ready to take this girl for a nice, nice ride. Where's it supposed to be like in the 60s here in the Bay Area, man? I don't know about today. All right, so I got the Loctite. Put a little bit on this. Put this guy right here. Put that in there. That looks so much better. So much better. Wow. Okay, so let me get the bag really quick. Line it up with the back one. Might be a little little off that does go down like that let me open this up don't want to start slamming anything okay so that let's lock that guy in there real quick and then we'll get this one lined up get my flashlight so I can see what I'm doing here All right, then I'm gonna get this guy in here. No, nope, that's right, right there. I'm gonna get my wrench, tighten this baby up. Go around, put it on there. Get that on there nice and tight. So now that bag's not going anywhere. And there we go. That baby's back on there. And I'll show you guys 
the reason why I wanted to do that. See how everything looks really good in here? Every, frames all nice and black. This bracket, I don't know if you guys can see that. Like I said, that bracket was like a faded to a white because of the sun. We're sitting out in the sun and it was oxidized really bad. So, you know, I'm really anal and <laughs> meticulous when it comes to stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's like if the bike is like almost perfect, 9.9 .9 all the way around, those little details bother me. So let's get this other side done real quick. So here. Tight. Little drop of Loctite. Makes it so much easier if you leave it just, you know, loose, just a little loose so that you can, you can maneuver it exactly where you want it to be for the bag. Let me show you guys really quick. See how good that looks look at that man that matches the bike doesn't it i mean the bike is just beautiful it's immaculate so get this beautiful bag careful 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 there we go get the rubbers all nice and lined up lined up yeah. it seems really tight but it's locked my flashlight because I can't see what I'm doing here I go a little bit there we go All right, I want to get it nice and tight so that it doesn't come off. There it is. And man, you know what? That looks amazing, guys. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Look at that, can you see that? Those are the little things that people just don't care about, you know, that are building certain bikes. Um, it's the little details that matter to me. Look at that girl. She is absolutely beautiful. So I haven't started her in a while. It's been a while, man. Here's the key right here. Let me go over here. Honestly, it's been been a couple months since I started her up so let's see here that's after two months guys I love this girl I put these new switches in They were really dull and faded and ugly. I put LED blue lights in here. I wanted to change these guys, but you have to do these real small little, uh... it's doable. Look at her. Love that bike, man. I love her. I'm gonna wipe her down and try to get a ride on her. So uh, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, guys have not subscribed to my channel, do me a favor, man. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. 
and it really helps me out a lot. Um, I'm trying to build my channel. I'm new. I've only been on here for four months. I'm so happy and I feel so blessed to have 200 subscribers, but I really, really want to have a lot more. You know, my goal is one of the guys that I watched after a year and a half, two years, he hit uh, 100,000 subscribers a couple weeks ago, man. I'm so happy for him. You know, and everybody that's on here, man, I wish you guys all nothing but the best. You know, I just uh, I just pray for nothing but blessings and good future for you and your families. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Yeah, man, I'm, uh, I'm just really happy that I got her back up going. I thought those brackets were going to take a lot longer because the uh, powder coater was pretty busy uh, this week. They were really slow until I got there, and then, bam, everybody started coming in. So... I hope I was able to bless him with people coming in after me. And so, uh, anyways, shout out to all my subscribers, all you guys who are hanging in there with me. I really appreciate you guys. Alan, Jose, Will, Elizabeth, you guys know who you are. If I forgot your names, I apologize. Jose, David, I really appreciate you guys, man. You guys are the ones that keep sharing my stuff, supporting my channel. I really appreciate you guys' help. I'm just uh, truly grateful to you guys. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please hit that like button, hit that bell icon, that way you get notified anytime I put new content out there. Um, and if you like my content, man, do me a favor, please share it with your family, your friends. I'm uh, giving, doing a giveaway on this bike. This is my first one. My tickets right now are $75 for one hat. That's your entry into the giveaway or two for 100. Um, anywhere in the lower 48 continental US, Anybody could participate outside of the U.S., but you got to pay for the shipping. I wanted to throw that in there. Anybody can participate for this giveaway, but you've got to pay for the shipping outside of the United States, the lower 48. If you're okay with that, I'm more than okay with that. Welcome aboard. I hope you guys like my channel. I hope you guys like my content. Other than that, you guys have a blessed day. I'm going to try to get this right in on this girl today. Always remember to ride safe, take care, and God bless. Love you guys. Mm -hmm.